Hello everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we did some things. We unlocked Saffron City. We also got uh, the Pokey Flute. Caught one of the two Snorlaxes available. I accidentally killed the other one. And definitely forgot to save before it, so kind of on me. And in today's episode, in between episodes actually, we I forgot to mention we did Cycling Road and Routes 13, 14, and 15. Now, if you come over here, uh, I don't remember if I mentioned this last time, but if you talk to this guy, he'll give you a good rod. Uh, he'll give you a good rod as long as you're like, oh yeah, I love fishing, dude. And then he'll give you the, the good rod. Now, coming to this building right here, I didn't show it off last time because we didn't have enough Pokemon caught yet, but we actually, funnily enough, have exactly 50. I caught a Ditto on Route 14 and talked to this guy. I'm promoting Professor Oak's aid. If your, Pokemon, if your Pokedex has complete data on 50 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Professor Oak can trust me with the XP share for you. Nephi, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on these 50 kinds of Pokemon? Sure have, sir. Great, you've caught our own 50 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations. Here you go. Thank God we have this item. Pokemon will receive share of the XP points without having to battle. This is great for grinding up lower level Pokemon, or if you're trying to evolve certain Pokemon, it's even... It's just as good for that, too. Now, on to today's episode. We're going to be spending a long time in the Safari Zone. Now, uh, let me actually make sure I have money. I do. I have plenty of money. So, one thing about the Safari Zone is there are four areas. There's the central area, area one, two, and three. That kind of looks shiny, huh? Um... Each area has certain encounters and certain uh, spawn rates of Pokemon. I would love to play. Now, there's also some other stuff you can do in the Safari Zone, which we're going to be doing first, and then um, off-screen I'm going to try and get our next member of the team. But first, we're going to get the stuff that actually matters, like Surf, for example. We're going to be getting Surf, and also we're going to be getting... Uh, well, hey, there's a Nidoran female. There you go. So the Safari Zone, before we continue what we were talking about just now, uh, Safari Zone's a little different. You don't battle any of the Pokemon. You can throw bait, which allows them to stay longer, but their catch rate goes down. You can throw a rock, which increases their catch rate, but lowers, or increases their chance to run away as well. And then a ball is just a ball. There are some methods you can do in terms of like catching the Pokemon. Uh, but me personally, I I just cheese it. I play on emulator, <clears throat> and so that means I just save state, and then if it's a Pokemon I want, I save state, and then reload the state if I don't catch it right away. Now granted, again, there are ways that you can kind of cheese it. Like, I think in... I can't remember where I read it. It might have been Bulbapedia, but... I think Tauros, Chansey, and like a couple other mons actually, they like, I don't, know, I don't remember what it is, but they their catch rate is so abysmally low that if you throw a rock, it's actually just beneficial. Even if there's a good chance that they run away, it's just better that you throw the rock. All right, though, before we can keep going, we got to go all the way up here. You also catch Paris and Parasect in this video, or in this video, in this area. Also, this is Area 2, for those wondering. We're currently in Area 2. Also, Steel Wing. That's a nice TM. I think it's a Hyper Potion. Oh, it's a Protein. I'm pretty sure there's a Hyper Potion somewhere in here. So, if you're willing to get all of the items that are available. Ooh, a Nidorino. We don't have... Oh, we do have this. I lied. <laughs> I forgot I have a Nidoking. King. Anyway. Man, I'm really good at just saying anyway. Like, anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the video. Mm, gold teeth, perfect. One quick thing is if you look in the top left there, 272 out of 600. That is the number of steps I've taken um, to get to this point. Or that's the amount of steps I've left. 600 is the amount you start with, and then the number is how many you have left on the left. Wow, how many times can I say left in a sentence? Left? Anyway. You're the first person to reach the secret house. Although I made a campaign for a grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you've won. 
Duffy put the HM03 in the TM case. HM03 is Surf. Pokemon will be able to ferry you across water using it. And this HM isn't disposable, so you can use it over and over. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. Now, with that out of the way, I'm going to do the really cool thing called catching our next partner. Or next partner, our new and our ne ne next member. So I'll see you guys there. Oh my gosh. Here we go. I'm just, I, I accidentally threw a ball. Oh my gosh. No way. What? <laughs> There's no way, dude. I found this guy within like two seconds. That's so cool. We're going to name you... Um... Gonna, I don't know what to name you. I'm gonna name you Axel. There we go, Axel. And that, my friends, is our new party member, Rhyhorn, or Axel the Rhyhorn, in my case. Um, it's got great defense, great offense. It is not very good special or speed, but man, it can hit like a truck if it really wants to. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Rhyhorn and ride on in these games. Uh, oh, whoops, I looked, I'm doing the wrong thing. Um, unfortunately in these games, they don't learn too many like rock or ground type moves. Now, luckily for us, the one rock type move that Rhyhorn and that Rhyhorn can learn is Rock Blast at level 29. So luckily we have Rhyhorn just in time. And also, we're gonna give Rhyhorn the EXP share because, uh huh, uh -huh. <laughs> it's pretty low level in comparison to the rest of my team, uh, if you've noticed. So anyway, I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right. So one thing I did forget to mention just now is that in the Safari Zone you can also catch Chansey. Uh, you can catch Chansey, I believe, in only Area Two. No, area two and center area. So the main area, like the hub area. When you walk in, that's a, that's the center area. Regardless, you can catch a Chansey or in area central or area two. It's a 4% chance to encounter. And then also in area two is Tauros. So if you really want a really strong normal attacker, uh, and also Area 3, there is a 1% chance to encounter Tauros in Area 2, but in Area 3, there's a 4% chance. And in Area 3 only is Kangaskhan, which instead is a 1%, no, I lied, Area 1 and 3 is Kangaskhan, both of which are a 4% and a 1% respectively. Now, those are some pretty good mods for this game. For this game, those are really strong, really good mods. But for this playthrough, we're not getting them. I've already gotten all the Professor Oak's aid stuff that I want to do, so we're going to skip that. And now, we're going to actually do a gym. I know, it's been a while. And honestly, I th this isn't out of order, which is the funny part. But, you know, whatever. They may be thinking, but Duff, this isn't the gym, bro. This is some old man's house. Talk to this old man. He's the warden. Gotta give him his gold teeth back. Thanks, son. You're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word I said, not a one. I'm too ashamed to show up my face around the office, even. Let me give you something for your trouble. Duffy put HMO4 in the TM case. If you don't know what HMO4 is, that is the TM4 strength. We're going to open that bad boy up, and guess who's learning that? It's going to be Exel. That's so right. Now, why is Exel learning it? It's because, again, Exel does not learn very many good moves uh, that are stab. And so we're going to teach it strength over fury attack because, well, Exel could learn some strength. Anyway, let's move this boulder over and show off our ability to use strength. And get this rare candy? Yes, get a rare candy. Alright, now we can go fight the gym. 
And actually, that reminds me. We need to put Ploof not in front. We gotta put Mimian out there. So yeah, this is... My team is very strong right now. It's like very... It's kind of ridiculous how powerful we are right now. And don't worry, I didn't forget about Saffron City, okay? I didn't forget. We'll go back, don't worry. Alright, so you can barely see it, but if you can see those white, grayish little dots on the corner of these blocks in front of me, those are walls. Uh, invisible walls, in quotes. Uh, hey man, I know you can look to the right, thank you. Thank you, alright. So anyway, you have to follow this invisible path all the way around to Koga. So here we go. Alright, we're back. Sorry that took so long, but, well, it took a long, a little bit longer for me, but it took like 0. 0.2 seconds for you guys. Anyway, let's battle Koga. A mere child like you dares to challenge me? The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom, sleep renders foes useless. Despair to the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. I personally don't like the poisoning that you keep doing on my Pokemon. Now, luckily, Mimian can one shot pretty much every. Yeah, but Mimian got to level 40. Mimian's a little powerful right now. But that's great because that's what we need. We need Mimian, Venusaur, we need all these guys to be super high level. <laughs> And Mimian just gonna sweep the gym. Uh, there's gonna be one Pokemon Mimian might have trouble with, and we will swap in uh, Vo instead. Also, in between episodes, I did go to the game corner, and I did catch, or not catch, but I got a lot of coins. And I bought the TM for Flamethrower, which is TM35 in this game. And so I taught Vo Flamethrower. Oh my gosh. No shot, Mimian takes zero damage throughout this whole ordeal. Now, oh, I also forgot to mention in between episodes, I also did catch a, not a Venomoth, a, oh, he doesn't have Venomoth in this game. That must be, is that Gen 1 are we thinking of? Or am I thinking of... Gen 2 slash Gen 2 remakes. I don't know. But anyway, I did catch a Venonat in between episodes. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Weezing does have a really good physical attack stat, and in this game, Poison is a physical type. So, Sludge is actually really good. But luckily, Mimian is faster and just better than Weezing. So, we'll just Psybeam until it 
dies. And we're almost there, honestly. This is this was probably the easiest gym aside from Brock for us. And honestly, Misty was pretty easy too. I think honestly the most difficult gym we had so far is probably in Vermilion. To be honest, because we just didn't have anything that was super effective. But there we go. Mimian carrying the whole squad on his back. Axel grew to level 29, which you know what that means. Rock Blast. Let's learn it. Uh, we don't need Tail Whip, I don't think. I don't think we need Tail Whip. Scary Face is a little bit more important, I think. Well, no, actually, Tail Whip is better, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. You've proven your worth. Here, take the Soul Badge. We got a lot of money for it, too. Now you have the Soul Badge. The defense of your Pokemon rises. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Take this, too. Sealed within the TM06 lies Toxic. It's a secret technique dating back some 400 years. And Toxic, if you don't know, is a badly poisoned state. And if you are running a stall team, it is the perfect item for you. The perfect TM for you. Because uh, Toxic, I think it's within six turns. It kills no matter what in Gen 3. Uh, could be wrong. Might have to fact check myself on that one again. But let's heal up. And no, no. We're not done yet. Mm -mm. You thought we were done? Uh-uh. Wrong. We still got a ways to go. And by a ways, I mean we might be able to catch our next party member. Might be able to. We'll see. But at first, we gotta, unfortunately, remove Bill, or not Bill, Bell from the party. Oh, not on this side. There. There's Crab. We also caught a, a Crabby. <laughs> As you can tell, uh, I used a super rod down here in this route I'm about to show you. And we're going to teach Krabby Surf because I'm pretty sure it can learn Surf. If it doesn't learn Surf, it's going to be kind of awkward. Okay, it does. Cool. Let's learn Surf. Alright. Uh, we'll forget Harden. Honestly, I probably should have just forgot Bubble, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not using Kingler in my team. Alright, Crab Learn Surf. Now there's only one other menu thing we gotta do, which is swap Mimian around with Ploof. Uh actually let's swap in let's let's do Electrode instead. Yeah, this will this will be fine. So hopefully we're gonna get our last party member uh right here, right now. And by right here right now I mean in in soon. So, round 19, we got a lot of trainers here and some new water Pokemon for you to catch. I don't want any of them. And since we already have the experience share, I'm not going to try and catch any more Pokemon. So, we're just going to try and get to the Seafoam Islands as quickly as possible without encountering any Pokemon or any people. And then off screen, I will uh, train once again. All right. We're already here, that's kind of crazy. Seafoam Islands. So, in the Seafoam Islands, you can actually catch Ice-type Pokemon, hence the snowy-ish looking area. And although you don't need to go through here to get to the next area that we're trying to go to, I keep saying area, the next city that we're trying to go to, you don't actually have to go through here. You can fly all the way back to Pewter, not Pewter, Pallet Town, and then, from there, gosh, I love that the Gen 4 started the whole thing of just being like, hey, do you want to reuse, was it Gen 4 or was it Gen 5, actually? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? I don't even remember. I've lost, I've forgotten. What was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah, I do love that super, or er, repels are a thing now. I think I was saying something else before, though. Frick. What the frick, Richard? Let's go down. I, I'm honestly... I haven't done this in so long. The proper way. Oh, that's what I was talking about. You can fly to Pallet Town. And from Pallet Town... Uh, let's go up. From Pallet Town, you can surf all the way down south to the next city. But again, we're going to try and do this as, as legitimate as possible. You know, we want to be... I don't know, 
we want, we want good vibes? I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Uh, well, let's pop down the hole. And there it is. Now, one thing I don't like about the older games that I do appreciate about the newer games is that there's not... <laughs> there are no longer HMs. Or at the very least, they're no longer required. Uh, like, you can still teach Pokemon Surf, and you can still teach Pokemon certain moves, but... There's really no need to. And also, what we're doing here with these boulders is actually going to be pretty crucial here. If you are not like me, and you don't mind catching legendary Pokemon... In this place is my personal favorite legendary of Gen 1. And I, you'll, you'll see it in just a second. Don't worry. You'll see it. I promise. You will see this Pokemon. And it's a cool one. It's a really cool one. Alright. I think this is the last of it? Here, let's hop down this ladder to make sure. Oh yeah, that's the last of it. Let's go back up. And plop ourselves through the hole. Never mind, I lied. I have forgotten how to get over there. Oh, do I need waterfall anyway? Oh, that's terrible if that's the case. There's no way. Uh. Oh, wait, no, no, I think I'm in the right spot. Alright, let's double check. Oh, it's much too fast. What? That's where the bird is! Okay, wait. I think... Ah, that's what I'm missing. I didn't go down enough. Okay. So you've got to do that puzzle too, but then you can come over here and do this puzzle. Like, use strength? Hell yeah, I want to use strength. So you want to push this boulder and this boulder and this boulder. Let's push this down really quick. Move that out of the way. Cool. I didn't mean to fall through. No! Well, it's not that bad of a time loss. And by a time loss, I mean it's really not bad. Okay. Let's try it again. Uh, luckily, the boulder stays down there unless you leave the area. I think that's when it disappears if you leave the area and then try to come back. And, oh. Hold up. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> I'm getting a little antsy. I'm getting a little anxious. I'm a little nerve. A little nervous. Because uh, TBH, these Pokemon are not easy to catch, uh, the legendary birds. Yes, I've already spoiled it by saying that. I'm sorry. But here we go! Now we're good. Now, at this point in time, you do have access to Ultra Balls. I bought 20, and... As always in every Pokemon game, save before you battle a legendary. There's just no need to not. And no, this isn't the Pokemon that's going to be your permanent member, but it is a great Pokemon. Articuno has appeared. Alright, Articuno is level 50, so this might be rough. This might this might not work out for us as well as we'd hoped. But let's see. Eh, we did like a tenth of its HP and parrot it. That's huge. Paralysis is great on these guys in my opinion. I don't really like using um what am I trying to say? I don't really like getting them to sleep because most of the Pokemon that you put to sleep are or that you use to put to sleep are grass types. There's like two that can learn Hypnosis, and even then, I don't even recommend them. Okay, I think I can do one more Spark and we'll be okay. As long as he doesn't crit. Cool! Okay, I know this Articuno knows more than just Mind Reader and Agility, so I don't know why it's only using those two moves, but let's throw an Ultra Ball. Let's see if we get it. Okay, I didn't think so. Again, these are really hard Pokemon to catch, and you just kind of got to get lucky. So if it takes a while, I'll just flash forward to when we catch the thing. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to keep talking. Oh? Ooh! Oh, the double jiggle is always, like, the biggest bait, in my opinion. It's always the biggest bait. Get the fucking ball! Please get the goddamn ball, you 1% HP! 
Don't do this to me. Yo! <laughs> we got him, dude. Fuck, man. Five foot seven, you a short motherfucker. Got him. Uh, I am gonna name you. Um, to fucking, I don't know, man. What's like a cold name? I don't know, fucking uh, Ronald McDonald. Yeah, we'll name you Ronald. No, we're gonna name you, uh... I don't fucking know. Uh... Iago. Sure, we'll do Iago. God. Well... Hey, you know those escape ropes we've been getting? Oh yeah, I used all my- all but five Pokeballs, by the way. And I had to restart that fight. Oh. Wait, where are my escape ropes? I know I got one. Okay, there we go. I have five. Okay. Now somehow, some way, I gotta make sure. Okay, my super pal is still in effect. I somehow have to make it back with a rock type and a water type. I think we can do it. I think we're. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll survive. Yeah, we'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be good. We're almost there. Already, almost there, dude. Oh, we're so close. Yo, just like that, we're there. All right. Well, that's pretty much everything I was gonna do in today's episode. I meant to catch our our next member, uh, but I will let you know right now. Uh, one second, actually, Seafoam Islands, Gen 3, I am actually going to let you know what the encounter rates for all the Pokemon are, okay, that are available there. So on the first floor, in Leaf Green is Slowpoke with a 55% cash rate, and in Fire Red is Psyduck, so those are the differences there, Psyduck and Slowpoke are, uh, I almost said gender exclusive, version exclusive. And then basement floor one uh, is seal, which is a, I think, ice water type, not water ice. Uh, and then also, that's a 10% chance encounter rate. And then just like with Psyduck Slowpoke, there are Golducks and Slowbros down there, uh, both at 5% encounter rate. But again, uh, Golduck for Fire Red and Slowbow for Leaf Green. And I believe those are the only Pokemon available that we haven't seen. Uh, there are Zubats and Golbats available as well. And if you get to the third floor, my goodness! Uh, in the third floor, there are Dugongs available, uh, both on the floor and surfing. And there's also Krabbies available while surfing. And if you're fishing, uh, I would recommend using a good rod because there's a good chance there's a 20% chance if you're playing fire or playing leaf green you can get a horsey down there uh, and if you're playing fire red there's a 20% chance to get crabby with the good rod and the super rod is a little different you have horsey crabby Gyarados and then Psyduck or Slowpoke available in that that pool and then the fourth the final basement floor of floor four is pretty much the same thing uh, Seal, Golbat, Golduck, Slowbro, Psyduck, Slowpoke, and Dugong. Anyway, with all that said, I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch the next member off screen, and I'll let you guys take a guess in the comments who do you think that will be. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.